good morning it's grandma roseanne and we're going to have a really really nice dish for beginners now this can be beginners slash working person that has to get home and feed a family i'm going to make chicken enchiladas now i'm going to do them ever so simply that anybody can do them at any time i'm going to start out with some um, chicken that is already seasoned Take a look at this, you guys. You can usually find this in almost any grocery store. Now this chicken was $10, but look cameraman, I bought it on sale for $5. Now this is wonderful when you can do that. Don't ever walk past sales and just think, even if you don't need them today, buy them and put them in your refrigerator or your freezer. And then when you're ready for it, it's all good to go. So we're going to go ahead and get this ready. Now I want the seasoning in here. So what I'm going to do is carefully open the package and carefully open the package and dump it all in. Okay. That's a lot of chicken in there, you guys. Mm. For $5, wow. Get all that seasoning in there. Now, if you want to do just a chicken breast or thighs, what you can do is make the sauce. There's plenty of recipes online, there really is. And typically when I'm doing something like this, I do make the sauce, I make it all from scratch. But when I find this much chicken for five bucks, and I know I can make great enchiladas with it, I'm all for that. All right, now what I want to do is I want to cut this chicken into some pieces here. See how thin this is? So nice. Put it in here, I'm keeping it in my cast iron because I don't want to lose any of the seasoning, none. So now I'm just gonna take a scissors and I'm gonna cut it in small pieces. If you want to go ahead and um, use this and put it in your oven and bake it, you can do that as well. I'm just going to just fry it quickly and move forward with this great enchilada. Now, cameraman loves Mexican food. So this is gonna be a special treat for him. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I love Italian food. Woo. I love, what else? Ita oh. Anything Asian. I love that as well. So probably those are my two favorites. This is my third favorite There So I'm gonna get this cut up into nice little chunks. You don't have to cut it up now this way either But I just think it's just gonna cook a little bit faster if we do it I'm using a cast iron uh, skillet and I love cast iron skillets you guys I think they are just about the best you can have for really conducting the heat and just, it, they're wonderful. You can get them, um, if you ever walk into thrift stores, you can get them all the time for like dirt cheap. But I've had these for years and years and years and I will pass them on, I swear to you, to my kids. There, now it's time to cook, but I have to wash my hands first because they're all gunky. All right, we're ready, so come on, follow me to the stove. Start this I'm on a medium-high heat, bring it up to temperature, then I'll reduce it a little bit. But just look at this, you guys. Look at how much meat is in there for $5. That's huge. I didn't know you were going to follow me out here. Take a look at the herb garden. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. We have chives and spring onions and cilantro and basil and lettuce, thyme. Oh, so much out here. So it's so wonderful when I need something, I just come out and just chop it like I did the cilantro. And this is what I'm going to use just for a little decoration on the top. So I just cut the top of the spring onions. I didn't know you were gonna follow me out here though, but I'm glad you did. Okay, now I want you to come up here and look. I want you to see how nice and juicy it has all gotten, all that beautiful flavor. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna shut this off. It only cooked for like maybe five minutes, that's it. 
So I'm gonna leave that there because I want some of those juices to come back into the meat. While it's doing that, we're going to go over here and I'm going to show you our next step. I'm getting everything ready. When it comes to the tortillas, it's up to you, whatever you want to use. I typically do this with corn tortillas. Cameraman really likes flour tortillas. So today I'm doing them with flour. In here, there's going to be onions, which I have already chopped, cheese, which is already grated, tomatoes, which I did not grow because mine are all gone, and cilantro. Now, I wanted to leave this here because I wanted to show you a nifty little tool here. This is just a blade that cuts, and I can't even tell you where to get this because it was gifted to me by my brother years and years and years ago. When I looked at it, I thought, I'm never going to use that. I use it all the time. It's wonderful. So what you do is just a little bit of rocking motion, and it does an amazing job. Now, I haven't seen, I haven't seen this with the wood base to it, but I have seen these online. So if you can't find the base, at least use this and then use your, you know, cutting motion on just a regular uh, cutting board. Now, when you're doing cilantro, you probably already know, but if you're beginners, you might not know, you can use the stems. The stems are perfectly fine to use on cilantro. Don't do that with parsley. Those are not good to eat, but cilantro stems are. So we're now just getting this ready to go. All right, here we are to the very end. It's all shredded. Now take a look at how much meat there is. Oh my gosh. And in all of that, I just had two pieces that were a little gristly, so I pushed those off to the side. Now look over here and see how much juice I still have in there. That's the juice from the chicken and all the seasoning in there. So I'm gonna put this all back in and I'm going to let it all absorb. You don't want to get rid of any of that flavor. You want all that flavor in that meat. All right, now we're just gonna scoop it all up. Now all that is in the pan is back in the meat. That's right where it should be. My chili sauce, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a whisk here. It does separate, so you wanna be able to mix it up a little bit. Just like that. I'm going to pour a little bit on the bottom. There. Let me make some room here. Okay, so now I have my first enchilada. And as I told you, this is a flour. So if you prefer the corn, go ahead and use that. It's all about what you and your family love. So a little bit of chili sauce there, a little bit of the meat mixture. We do want some onion. some tomato, some cheese, and a little bit of cilantro. Tuck it into a side just a little bit, fold it over, and fold it again, and your first one is done. Mm. Now, how easy is that? Mm. I mean, come on. It's so simple, so my beginners out there Honestly, you can throw this dinner together. They're gonna think you're an amazing cook. All the seasoning, the spices are gonna be perfect in there. And you did it so fast. And you don't have to tell anybody that the chicken was already pre-done. It's nobody's business but ours and I keep secrets really good. There. Now, if you like more heat, Feel free, put some jalapeno in there, some, some peppers that are a little bit spicier, whatever it is that you like. And I wash my hands nine million times a day. 
When I was growing up, my brother, Reggie, he was little at the time, and we were having dinner, and he was like five. And, my, uh, and he picked up his food and started to eat it with his fingers, which was something my mom wasn't gonna stand for. And she said, use your fork. And he said, fingers were made before forks. And she said, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> And I love it now because I talk to my brother a lot. And, and I tell him things like that that, you know, he was too little to remember, but I remember. And then we laugh about it. It's the best thing ever. Okay. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Now I have the oven set to 350. And uh, when we get this last two done here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven. <laughs> I would love to tell you that this was pre-planned and everything came out perfect, but <laughs> I'm just surprised it did. There. You want to be careful not to overfill them because they'll just spill out. They're going to be harder for you to roll up. Tuck it in and roll it over. Perfect. All right, here we are. Now I'm just going to pour some of the sauce over the top. Just like that. Yum. We want some cheese on the top. I'm using cheddar. Feel free to use your cheese of choice. This is an extra sharp cheddar. I honestly mm. don't know how much the ingredients are, um, how many ounces of anything I've used here. But honestly, it makes no difference. It really doesn't. It's all going to be delicious. It's just whatever you want. If you want a little bit more cheese, you want a little fewer onions, whatever it is you want, I will promise you it's going to be perfect and delicious. So now come with me to the stove because it's got to pop in. It's going to go on a middle rack. It's going to be there for 20 minutes because everything is cooked. All we're doing is just getting the flavors to all blend together, the cheese to melt, and then we are going to have some food to eat. So I'll be back. I'll clean up my mess in the meantime. Well, it's come out of the oven and I let it settle down for about 10 minutes. You just want the sauce to absorb into the tortillas and you want all those flavors to kind of come together. Now we're going to garnish it. And the garnish is not just about making it a beautiful presentation. The garnish is also wonderful to eat. So I have some shredded lettuce and I'm just going to kind of take that around the edges. I definitely could have done better on the way I shredded this. I've got lumps, but that's all right. It's all going to be good anyway. I'll just kind of chop it up as I go. There. I don't know why I thought I was in such a hurry for the lettuce. There. That's beautiful. Look at that. Then we want a little sprinkling of green onions in there. We want to throw in some olives just because they're beautiful. They add to the picture, they add to the flavor, and I love olives. Well, here we are, our finished product, and I think it looks beautiful, I really do. So I garnish with lettuce, olives, avocado, few sprinklings of the um, tops to my spring onions, and then I have some sour cream in there. But as pretty is, as pretty is, it's all about taste. So let's get in there. 
pull out one of these beautiful puppies. Mm. Look at that. Okay. A little bit of olives, a little bit of avocado, a little bit of that sour cream on top, and time for a taste. But look at that. Whoa. So much chicken in there. It looks fantastic. I'm going to cut a slice of avocado in there. There we go. That's really good. It's a completely different texture with the flour tortillas. So I think Cameraman's gonna like them better than the corn. I really do. So now that we have completed dinner, what I wanna ask you to do, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Hit the little bell so you'll know when more videos are coming. And, oh, a thumbs up too. Thumbs up is always good. So with that, I will wish you a happy weekend. This is our Friday. We're going into a great weekend. We're actually gonna go off to a, um, a nursery right now that has exotic fruits. So we're gonna be looking for some trees or some berries that you normally can't find. So that's gonna be our afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Please come back. Come and enjoy the time that we spend together. And thank you. Bye. You're going to like this.